In the village of Rasulpur, the January mornings are cold with mist blown down from the mountains of Nainital. Farmers leave home at dawn just in time to witness the sun rising above their farms. Mentha or mint, as it's commonly known, has been cultivated as a culinary herb since time immemorial and it has a prominent role in both Eastern and Western cultures. Mentha is a popular crop in India. Mentha stolons are typically planted from the last week of December to the last week of February. Although mentha is a perennial crop, it is treated as an annual crop in India. Its 90 to 115 day crop cycle makes it ideal for a crop rotation scheme with other crops. The mint value chain commences with the farmer. Most of the mentha crop is grown by small farmers on small land holdings of less than one hectare. As part of modern practices, Man Can Kaur, in association with CMAP, introduced the early mint technology, which offered several benefits to farmers while also reducing carbon emissions. CMAP से जो team आती है, वो लोग हमें जानकारी देते हैं, नई-नई तकनीकी के बारे में जानकारी देते हैं कि इस तरीके से खेती करो, इससे ज़्यादा लाभ मिलेगा आपको. We encourage field-level trial cultivation plots by lead farmers. Our agronomists and scientists conduct training on topics like vermicomposting and water conservation along with EMT to name a few. While our field staff constantly and consistently guide and direct the farmers on good agricultural practices, we also promote intercropping with wheat, onion, chili and coriander which helps in crop biodiversity and an additional income to mint farmers. Man Kankor has currently certified more than 7,000 farmers under the Farm Sustainability Assessment Program developed by the SAI platform. A majority of these farmers come under the gold and silver category of certification. Once the plants are mature, the plants are cut and semi-dried under the sun. The semi-dried mint plants are then loaded into the trucks and taken to the distillation centers. The semi-dry mint plants are unloaded into the distillation tank and water below the tank is then heated to generate steam to begin the distillation process. As part of the company's CSR initiatives, we upgraded the traditional distillation units by modifying the condenser and installing cooling towers whereby oil recoveries could be increased. New jerry cans are given to farmers to deliver the oil to Man Can Kaur's collection center to avoid contamination by reusing cans from other sources. The collection agent of Man Can Kaur maintains all the traceability documents and the traceability purchase record system. Our field staff trains the farmers to maintain records and to ensure traceability, their sustainable fields are geotagged and geofenced using remote sensing and satellite imagery services. Once distilled, the mentha oil undergoes further refining at the Mankan Kaur manufacturing facility in Bareilly. It is converted to menthol through crystallization and other mint allied products through fractional distillation. Mm 
Man can cause contribution to the mint industry in India have been immense. Man can core is a game changer in the industry, pioneering the concept of closed chambers for menthol manufacturing, a paradigm shift in the manufacturing of menthol crystals. We continue to research and develop improvement initiatives that are then implemented from time to time. Mankankor manufactures the world's best mint, menthol and allied products adhering to global food quality and safety standards which also offers a direct market linkage for mint farmers. By providing a sustainable and safe livelihood, our holistic approach benefits each and every individual who is part of the mint value chain.